Dear all, I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of Basic Electrical Engineering. In this session, I'm going to discuss what is the meaning of slip speed, slip, and the related numerical example. This is very important for your exam point of view, especially for first year students. So first, let's understand what do I mean by slip speed? Okay. The, moving on to the definition, the slip speed is nothing but the difference between the synchronous speed, it is denoted by the letter NS of the rotating magnetic field and the actual rotor speed that is called slip speed. By the way, let me explain what is a synchronous speed. Synchronous speed is nothing but the speed of rotating magnetic field. As soon as you apply the three phase supply, there is a production of rotating magnetic field in the stator field. So that is generally called as rotating magnetic field. Speed of rotating magnetic field is Ns. Okay. So you can calculate Ns by using the formula 120 into F by P. Here, F is nothing but supply frequency. Okay. Because you are applying the three phase supply supply frequency in hertz. How about P? P is nothing but number of poles. Number of poles. By using this formula, you will be getting what is the speed of rotating magnetic field. Speed of rotating magnetic field is also known as synchronous speed. I hope you understood. Now, after induction, what is going to happen? An EMF is induced at the rotor. If the rotor is short circuited or if the rotor path is closed, there is a production of torque which is developed at the rotor. At that time, the rotor slowly starts rotating. Okay. So, the speed of rotor that is represented as N. N is nothing but speed of rotor. Speed of rotor. Now, let me ask one question which is larger, either synchronous speed or speed of rotor? Of course, synchronous speed is always larger than. Uh, speed of rotor. Definitely there is a difference between synchronous speed and the speed of rotor. The difference between synchronous speed, you can see the synchronous speed. Let me use another color of ink. You can see uh, this is your synchronous speed. Look at this. Ns is the synchronous speed and N is the rotor speed or it is also known as actual speed. The difference between synchronous speed and the actual speed is known as slip speed. Okay, please do study this formula. This is very, very important for your exam point of view. Hope the concept is clear to everybody. If you know the slip speed, we can easily define what is the meaning of slip. The slip is nothing but it is expressed as the ratio of change in synchronous speed and the rotor speed to the synchronous speed. That means, what do we mean by Ns minus n? Ns minus n is nothing but slip speed. Correct? slip speed divided by what is Ns? Ns is known as synchronous speed. Synchronous speed. If you take the ratio of both, I am able to get the value of slip. The difference between uh, synchronous speed and the rotor speed to the synchronous speed. It is known as slip or else it is a ratio of slip speed to the synchronous speed of induction motor. If you want, you can express in terms of percentage also. How to express in terms of percentage? So, slip S can be calculated as Ns minus N divided by Ns into 100. So that it will be converted into percentage. Hope you have understood what is the meaning of slip and slip speed. Now I will be speaking about some cases. So you know that the general equation of slip is Ns minus N divided by uh, Ns. So, at standstill, what is the meaning of standstill? Standstill means rotor is equal, rotor speed is equal to zero. If rotor speed is equal to zero, what is the value of slip? Ns minus zero divided by Ns. So, it is nothing but Ns by Ns. That is nothing but one. When the rotor is at uh, zero or zero RPM, whenever the rotor is at rest, we can say that slip is one. So, uh, for if the induction motor is not moving means slip will be one fine one more important information 
the slip always varies between 0 and 1. The maximum value of slip is 1 and the minimum value is 0. This point also you need to remember. So please make a note of this. Now let us solve some numerical examples so that the concept will be clear to everybody. So please read the question first and write the given data. Let us write the given data. Given data. What are the given data? A three phase. It's a three. We are talking about three phase induction motor. The supply frequency is already given. It is 50 hertz. And how many number of poles are there? There are three, three, six poles. Induction motor has a full load percentage slip is already given. How much? Three percentage. Three percentage means 0 0.03. Find the synchronous speed and the actual speed. So how to calculate synchronous speed? You, you know the formula. Okay. Synchronous speed. You can calculate using the formula. Ns. That is equal to 120 F divided by P. Please substitute accordingly. 120 into what is the frequency? 50 Hertz divided by P is nothing but 6. So it becomes how much? 2, 0. So you will be getting 1000 RPM. Hope it is clear to everybody. So, synchronous speed we have completed. This portion I have completed. Fine. Now, I am going to calculate the actual speed. What is actual speed? N is equal to actual speed. Actual speed. That is nothing but rotor speed. Rotor speed. Hope you understood. Yeah. So, slip is nothing but Ns minus N divided by Ns implies slip is already available in the question 0 0.03 that is equal to Ns we have computed just now 1000 divided by N8 to calculate divided by 1000. If you simplify do the cross multiplication 0 0.03 into uh, 1000 is equal to uh, 1000 minus N therefore N is equal to uh, 1000 minus uh, 0 0.03 into 1000. So ultimately, you will be getting how much? So n is equal to, if you calculate the difference, you will be getting uh, 970 RPM. I request all to verify the answer. It is correct or not. Yes, I have got the answer, 970 RPM. So please make a note and kindly verify the answer. If the answer is correct, kindly revert in the comment box. I am very happy to hear that. So let us move on to another numerical example. So let us solve that. Yeah. First, I request you to read the question thoroughly. A three-phase 10-pole induction motor is supplied by a six-pole alternator running at 1200 RPM. Calculate the speed of motor for a slip at 3 percentage. The concept is very simple. So, we have an alternator. What is alternator? It is AC generator. We have alternator. I will be marking like this. So, alternator is generating the electrical energy or electrical power. So, whatever the, uh, you can say in terms of voltage also, voltage, power, energy, no issues. Okay. It is generate the power and the output of alternator. Please mark it is an alternator. Alternator. Alternator output is connected to where? Three phase induction motor. Okay. Three phase IM. I will be writing three phase. Do understand that this is induction motor. So, we have R, Y, D. Concept is, Generator produced electrical energy that is going to give to the input of uh, DC, uh, induction motor. What uh, generator does? Generator produces electrical energy uh, the, where the motor consumes electrical energy. I hope you understood the correlation. Yeah. Now, very simple. First, you write down the given data. Given data. Let us write the given data. What are the data they have given? A three phase 10 pole induction motor. So, I will be writing like induction motor IM. Induction motor is IM. Uh, three phase. Obviously, it's a three phase induction motor we are talking about. So, P is equal to 10 poles. So, there are 10 poles available. And uh, if I talk about alternator, alternator, alternator is also known as AC generator. Uh, how many number of poles are there? There are six number of poles. Then what is the uh, sp uh, speed of alternator? Speed of alternator is how much? Uh, so, we can write alternator speed. Okay. Speed of alternator is equal to 1200 RPM. Anyway, alternator uh, that will be rotating at a constant speed, it is known as synchronous speed. Remember that. The speed of alternator 1200 is concerning the synchronous speed of alternator. Do understand. So, what you are supposed to calculate? Calculate the speed of motor. I have to calculate the speed of motor. I have to calculate it. Speed means actual speed. 
uh, and the slip is provided. What is the value of slip? So 0 0.03. So 3 percentage is nothing but 3 divided by 100. That is equal to 0 0.03. Yes, please solve this. First, what you are supposed to do? So let us look at the alternator. Pole is equal to 6. And uh, synchronous speed is how much? Uh, 1200 RPM. Therefore, can you calculate the supply frequency? Supply frequency, I can calculate it. First of all, we have to calculate the supply frequency. What is the formula of supply frequency of alternator? F is equal to P into NS by 120. So what is the number of poles? How many number of poles are there for alternator? There are six number of poles. What is synchronous speed of alternator? 1200 upon uh, 120, correct? So here, I can cancel like this. Okay. So how much you are getting? Uh, 6 into 10 is nothing but 60 hertz. So supply frequency, this much of power generation, this much of frequency of power generation is taken place at alternator. Hope it is very clear to everybody. If not, kindly put up in the comment box. I am going to uh, discuss with you. So 60 hertz. Correct. Now let us look at what is the ultimate goal. Calculate the speed of motor. In, it, look at the induction motor. Okay, I need to calculate the speed of induction motor. So what is the formula of speed of induction motor? Uh, anyway, I have a relation. S is nothing but Ns minus N divided by Ns. Here, uh, I have to calculate the value of N. N is the actual speed or speed of rotor. Ns, how can you calculate Ns? Synchronous speed of uh, induction motor. Use the formula 120F by P. So that is nothing but 120 into what is the supply frequency we have computed just now 60 divided by uh, p how many number of poles are applicable for induction motor there are 10 number of poles read the question carefully so please solve this how much you are getting you will be getting uh, 720 rpm don't get confused regarding alternator and induction motor remember alternator is a source induction motor is actually the load we can say like that source definitely that is going to supply to the load remember like that look at the figure all of you refer the figure ns equal to 120 f by p i am getting the synchronous speed of induction motor is equal to 720 rpm if i know the synchronous speed i can use the formula look at the formula here so what is the value of slip slip is equal to 0 0.03 that is equal to what is the synchronous speed 720 minus n n i don't know actual speed i have to calculate it divided by n s is equal to 720 so simplify this uh, if you simplify how much you are getting 0 0.03 in the cross multiplication uh, 720 uh, that is equal to uh, 720 minus n so uh, n is equal to 720 minus 0 0.03 into 720 so how much you are getting uh, you will be getting around 698 698 rpm so the actual speed, see, the speed of motor, speed of motor, which I am getting 698 RPM. Hope the right answer is correct. If you solve this, you will be getting 8 marks. Very simple fashion you will be getting. With a very less effort, you will be getting 8 marks. In the next session, I am going to discuss with the, the dip, uh, one of the concepts called the, freak, uh, the rotor frequency of power generation in induction motor. There is a small derivation followed by some numerical example. So that I'm going to discuss in the uh, next session. Let me know if you are having any questions. Most of the students are having confusion about the problem. So kindly refer the uh, concept once, then try to solve the problem in parallel. Whatever I'm doing now, you please verify once. Likewise, you can solve many number of problems. If you require any soft copy of textbook, do let me know. I have some uh, soft copies of textbooks. I have some, uh, it is with me. If you drop a mail, definitely I will reward. Thank you so much for watching this video. In this session, we discussed about uh, what is a slip? Uh, what do you mean by slip speed? Ultimately, we have done the uh, problem also. Okay, once again, I'm thanking you. Have a great day.